Hi there, Sir Wilbur here, and I will share something valuable to make sure that you will be internet awesome. Have you ever posted something in your social media account and later have regrets in posting it? Of course, you can delete it, but it is also possible that someone might have read it before you removed it. Do you share memes or funny videos for fun? Have you considered that someone might get offended? The convenience of using the internet has become part of our daily lives which helps us communicate, share photos and videos, and post something about ourselves easily. But in the online world, we need to be extra careful. We need to have the ability to control what information we will share about ourselves and whom we will allow to see and reshare it. And that refers to online privacy. Your name, home address, phone and mobile number, social security number, and email address are your personal information. It's a good idea to make a rule for yourself not to share this kind of information online. Aside from keeping your personal information, we must also take care of our reputation because these are the ideas, opinions, impressions, or beliefs that other people think or have about you. We must also consider what others will feel based on our posts. Different situations call for different responses, online and offline. It's always important to respect other people's privacy choices, even if they aren't the choice you'd make yourself. Also, be careful with the simple codes that you send like emojis because it represents a certain meaning or message which may uplift the reader's emotion or the other way around. Have you heard of the word oversharing? It refers to sharing personal information or just too much about yourself in a certain situation or conversation online. What's the risk? You might become so familiar in doing it that you are unaware that you are already sharing information about your private life. This is harmful not just for you, but also to your loved ones. The internet can be a safe or a dangerous place for us. It will really depend on how we will utilize it. Take time to think and read your post a couple of times before you share it in the World Wide Web. And remember, it's better if you will always think before you click, but it's best if you will share with care. We had a blast on our first quarter. It's time for another quarter of fun, learning, and exciting challenges this second quarter. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m., samahan niyo muli ang ating English Elementary Tutors. Tutor Jessa and Tutor Arlene. Tutor Rubelin, Tutor Jess and Tutor Rina. Tutor May and Tutor Ira. Tutor Ace and Tutor Anne. Tutor Joni and Tutor Annie. Tutor Jazz and Tutor Net. Every Tuesday is Choose English Day. Sama-sama nating itulay ang saya, pagkatuto at pagsasanay. Dito lang sa DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial. Hashtag Itulay Level Up. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS, EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn, together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na!
An awesome and amazing afternoon to all our learners, teachers, and of course, to all the parents who are there with their respective children. Welcome to our Itulai online tutorial. So I'm Tutor Robilin from SDO Lapu Lapu City and with me is my partner. Hello, Tutor Jess. Yes, yes, yes. I'm Tutor Jess. Always saying a yes for learning is a yes for a better tomorrow. Good afternoon, Tutor Ruby, and to all our online learners. It has been a very productive Tuesday that we had last week, and I'm looking forward for another productive Tuesday for today because Tuesday is English Day. Hi, Tutor Ruby. How are you today? Of course. Uh, actually, I'm not that well physically, Tutor Jess, but the show must go on. And of course, I know and I claim that I will be fine completely this week. So, yeah, now we have our viewers now, Tutor Jess. All our learners are here yes, with yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. Equally yes. spirited with me, Tutor Ruby, who is always saying a yes for learning. We have some more children and learners, our early birds. They are flooding in our comment section. And I would like to acknowledge the first early bird in the comment section. We have Samantha M. Villanueva. Good afternoon, good tutors watching from Mahada Out Elementary School, Grade 2. Masin. Hi, Samantha. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm happy that you're here. Yes, Tutor Ruby, do we have some more? Yes, of course. Yung lagi natin kasama. Ayan si Jersey. Good afternoon sa iyo, anak. Ayan din si Jaden. And of course, kasama natin si Genevieve Madrejo this afternoon from uh, Ilihan Elementary School, Macrujon District, Southern Leyte Division. Ayan, taga Visayas mo. Wow, I like that. We're really mm -hmm. growing in numbers to to be right? Of course, because our learners are having that growth mindset at a very young age. Ayan, Tutor Jess, kasama din natin ngayon si Myrene Adeline Humawan Kadag. Ayan, si Juliana Jenkins. At of course, from grade 5 Mabini. Ayan, love, ko, ala, love collegian. At syempre, wow. ayan, sabi ni Samantha, hello daw, Tutor Jess and Tutor Robilin. Yes, At hello, syempre, Samantha. We're happy to have uh -huh. you, Jersey, and the rest of the online learners we're having. Of course, we would like to greet you to Ruby, our learners coming from the East Day of Lapu Lapu City who are having their learning camp. This week, yes, yes, yes. yes. Congratulations to the Division of Lapu Lapu City for a very successful banner program. And learning camp. Yes. I would like also to congratulate you, Tutor Jess, for winning yung activity ninyo sa uh, broadcasting, right? Ayan, nagaling ng Thank you, Tutor Ruby. Yes. That's the growth mindset. It's a winner yes. mindset. Thank you, That's Tutor Ruby. And of course, kanina we have from uh, Visayas. Ngayon may kasama naman tayo from Mindanao. Hey, Angeline Tan from Zamboanga City Division yan, from Region 9. At syempre, wow. meron din from Luzon, si Rachel Katakutan pa din from San Vicente Elementary School, Binian City, Laguna, at marami pang iba, Tutor Jess. Syempre, huwag na natin silang much. paghintayin, Tutor Jess, no? kasi nga, excited na sila to learn new things for this I believe, afternoon. Yes, I believe to be. Yes, I am thrilled and excited as they are. So with that then, we would like to present to all our online learners this afternoon. English, instead of having our English elementary video, we are going to have our English 2 jingle. Go, go, go. Are you excited, kids? Of How about course. you, Ruby? Yes. Yes, yes can, we, can we see them? Typing yes, yes, yes in the comment section for us to sing now our English 2 jingle. And I'm so happy to be because I've seen a lot of kids, our grade 2 learners, doing a video of themselves singing our English 2 jingle. Yes. Ayan no, si Ezekiel sabi niya, English 2, English 2 for me and you. Ayan, really oh. excited na sila. Ayan, may yes, yes, yes na sa ating mga comment yeah and yung mga comments nila to Jess. Ayan, excited Thank you talaga very much. Nila. So that means we have to start now and these are the lyrics for our jingle this afternoon. You can see there on your screen and we would love to sing with you. Okay, let's sing together. Yes. Ayan. Pakita muna natin yung lyrics uh, natin to Jess para talagang makuha nila yung tamang lyrics. No? Ayan. Pakislide show yeah. na lang po ng presentation to Jess. Okay, go, go, go. But I'm so yes. happy to be I am honestly happy for all our learners who are really uh, continuing the spirit for learning despite of the pandemic that we have. Mm -hmm. They grow, they never stop. That's so yes. inspiring. 
Okay. Of course. Uh, uh, kasi That's nga, why... di ba, yung mga parents natin, we are so grateful sa kanila. Ayan si Aliana, oh, nag-post na ng lyrics, talagang na-memorize na niya. Wow, good job, oh, wow. anak. I like that. Okay, Ooh. thank you so much. So, I believe we have to start now. Oh, yes. Here are the v. Can you see them on your end? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start Here's now with our it. jingle. Go to the chest. Sabay, sabay. One, two, three, go. English to, English to, English to, for, me for me and you. And you. English, English to, to, English to, come on, come let's, on let's go. go. English to, English to, English to, English to, English to, learn and learn and English, English, to, English, to, English to, English to, today, today and tomorrow. And tomorrow. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 How about one more time, Tutor Ruby, with all the online learners who are having our show right now. Can we sing it together? One more time. One, two, three, go. English, English to, English to, English to, English to for, me for me and you. you. English to, English to, English to, English to, come on, let's go. go. English, English to, to, English to, it's learn and, and grow. English, English to, English to, English to, today, today and tomorrow. And tomorrow. Yeah, hey! Okay. Congratulations to the Ruby. You are really happy because you can easily uh, sing the song for the very first time. To the Ruby, we're sorry. <laughs> we missed you last week and yes. we missed our learners last week also. Oh. So we're back with that jingle. And moving forward, we are going to uh, share to you our again our list of tutors for English too, not just one, not just two, but three tutors. And of course, I'm tutor Jess on the other end. We have of course we have Tutorina. Uh by the way, I would like to request everyone no, to please offer a prayer for Tutorina for her fast recovery. Kasi uh nag undergo siya ng, ano, surgery. But I know she's getting better now, but uh, she still needs our prayers, Tutor Jess. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Tutorina, get well soon and yes. we're looking forward to have you back in the show. Tutorina, uh we are praying for your fast recovery. Yes, Tutor V, again, we would like to inform our online learners that live and live tayo ngayon via Facebook Live DepEd Tayo EdTech Unit, DepEd Tayo Facebook page. And also with DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd TV via YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. And our schedule, Tutor V, when you will... are with us every 1.40 to 2.20 in the afternoon, every Tuesday and ha? Ayan, mga anak, sabayan niyo kami palagi. Yes, 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 right. because Tuesday is always an English day. Okay, moving forward for our topics that we had for the last three weeks. Okay, to three mm -hmm. weeks. Yes, for yeah. week one, we're done with recognizing the different parts of the book. Then uh, during the week two, we had the generating ideas through pre-writing activities. Then last week, you had uh, the topic about writing some words a phrase or a sentence about an illustration or a character and now this will be our topic it's about discussing the illustrations on the cover and predicting what the story may be about Kaya kids please share this link now to your fellow learners okay? yes now is the time for you to mm -hmm. like comment and share type yes if you are done sharing we would like to encourage them to the ruby not to Keep this video sharing so that we can reach more learners. Okay. Yes. Because learning is better when it is shared. Learning is best when it is shared. Okay. Yes, so we'll because go, go. sharing is loving, Chitter Jess. And of course, yes. sharing is caring. We care our kids and some other learners. So please, please share this link to everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Type yes, yes, yes. If you're done sharing, may nakapag share na ba, Chitter V, in our comment section? Keep them pouring because we will read them for you in the comment section. Okay, hopefully may nag-share na. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Five, sabi yes, ni Annalyn, then sharing daw. Ayan, then sharing, sabi ni Vincent. I'm so happy. Thank you very much, Annalyn. Yay! Mm -hmm. Okay, we need some more. One more. Sino pa ba ang nag-share? We have some Ayan, more shares. Ayan, si Rachel, si Princess Jadrin, and then si, ano, 
si Den, uh, ano to? <laughs> ano, wala ako. Si Aliana, yes po. Sabi ni Ana Lindarcia, si Dido, much, yes Aliana. po. Si Kiljisha, Kel Galicio, at marami pa. Sabi nila, Dan na po. Yes, yes, yes. Dan sharing Thank na po. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, with that then, we are going to present again to all our online learners our quarter two Week 4, ang bilis ng panahon to review. We are now on our fourth week for the second quarter. No? Parang, Parang kailan lang. lang. Uh -huh. yeah, that's true. So we are again uh, discussing the topic entitled Discussing the Illustration on the Cover and Predicting What the Story May Be About. Okay, and we would like to thank our source for this afternoon's uh, session, DepEd Central Office Bureau of Learning Resources for Quarter 2. Module 4. Okay, yay. Yeah. And of course, Dr. Ruby, you would like to do the honors for acknowledging our learner's best output for week three. Go, 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 Dr. Ruby. Of course. I would like to congratulate first si Isaiah, uh, how to pronounce yung pangalan niya, si Kanina. John Ventura, yeah, great to learn then. And of course, the Jersey Bye. Genesis Handig from San Vicente Elementary School is the Obinian Laguna. Ayan, hi to your teachers. Si hi, Edita Jersey. Carpio. Hi, Mami Dita Carpio. Thank you for, for mm -hmm. raising a very good child. They are actually showing and sharing their videos, singing the English to Jingo to Trivi. I've seen them and it was so mm -hmm. inspiring. And of wow. course, that's just true, but we have more outputs to be shared for today. Of course, we have another singing child from. Uh, oh yes, from Amadeo. Yeah, from yes. Amadeo Elementary School is the Okaviti Province. At siempre hi to her advisor, Sir Juniel Valencia. Congratulations, Aliana May T. Villanueva. Ayan, Thank you so much for up. singing the song. We are so touched, no? Mm -hmm. And of course, Sir Terbi, hindi nagpapahuli yung ating mga kids from Isdio Lapu Lapu City. We have our own share. Wow. Of foods, yes. Mm -hmm. We have Basak Elementary School. Oh. Uh, our writer advisor is Mama Lu Labrador Mata. Hi, Mama Lu. And to all the grade two teachers, and of course, my teach my fellow teachers in Basak Elementary School, headed by our principal, Mam Lilian Ancheta. Hi, po. Congratulations for sharing Hello. your best output. Uh, if yeah. I could remember, si Teacher Malu ba yung na invite ko din sa MTB before, I think. Yes. 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 You remember it right, Tutor B? Mm -hmm. Tutor Malu is also a tutor in MTB before. Okay, we're so mm -hmm. happy with her. Uh, kids, uh, her learners presenting their outputs for week three. Okay, moving forward to Tutor B, please do the honors of reading our objectives for today. For today's lesson, you will be able to give predictions on what the story is all about. And you will be able also to show appreciation to the importance of writing activities and perform the different writing activities in order to discuss ideas about the cover and the story. All okay, right. I'm so excited to read. Therefore, we are goal directed, and I love the objectives. It will direct us to somewhere. Okay, of course. So let's have this activity. All right, so study the pictures below and guess what will happen next. Write the letter of the correct answer. So to just ano kayong nasa picture natin this time. Okay, I I would like to describe it to Ruby. I can mm -hmm. see a child walking and. He is minding his phone, but he is not minding his Ooh. footsteps. Okay, so you have to be very careful the next time that you walk so that mm -hmm. you will avoid accident. Okay. okay, so what are the choices for our learners to digest? Okay, letter A, he will fall. Letter B, he will be happy. Letter C, he will drink water. Or letter D, he will buy a toy car. Okay, oh. type number one and the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 kids. We would like to acknowledge the first one to comment the correct answer. And kids, I want you to focus, ha? Huh? Guess what will happen next. As you can see yes. in the picture, if you can see that, what will happen next? Hmm. And the correct answer is? Okay, okay the correct good. answer is letter Hey, hey. Oh, no, that's too oh, sad. But it there's hurts. a lesson, to, you know, we have to be very mindful the next time we walk. We have to mind our 
steps. Okay. And there's time for everything to digest. Yes, it's okay to use your cell phone, but not while walking on the street. Okay? Please don't That's do true. that, kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meron bang nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Do we have the right answers from the right st- students? Yes, of course. Have... Most of them got it correct uh, to digest. Ayan, si John, Nathan Acevedo, si Hi, Princess, John. si Alea, oh. si Johanna Lynn, si John, si Pia, si Princess, si Gemma, ayan, si Kovis. Oh, Grabe, lahat sila actually. Nakuha nilang okay. tamang sagot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Let's move forward to the for number two. Okay, again, it's the same direction. Study the pictures below and guess what will happen next. So, gagaya na sinabi ni Chuty Ruby, we have to be very mindful. Next. Okay, letter A. Chuty Ruby, please read the choices. Okay, letter A. She will consult the doctor. B. She will see her teacher. C. She will buy food. Or D. She will read books. Oh, what's the correct answer, kids? Mm-mm. Okay. And the correct I would like answer to acknowledge is... Today. We have to... Yes, the correct answer is letter A. She oh. will consult the doctor. Okay. Because mm-hmm. she is sick to the review. As we can see in the picture, she's having mm-hmm. a fever. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, may nakakuha ng tama sagot? Do we have some correct answers in the comment section? Yes, a lot of answers are here for number two. Alea, Isaiah, Samantha, John Marcos, Ayan, si Kijisha, Jersey, Jaden, Aliana, Rafael, Princess Gemma. Grabe, lahat sila. Wow. Tama yung sagot. Hindi ko na wow, mabasa lahat. Wow, that's so easy for them. Zero. Okay, congratulations. Yes. And for number three, I would, correct. I would like to read the choices to the B. Number three, look at the picture, kids. A, the man will drink hot tea. B, the man will drink cold water. C, the man will drink hot coffee. D, the man will drink hot chocolate. Okay, yes. so it's too hot there. What are you going to drink when it's too hot? It's too sunny outside. Okay, type number three and the letter of your answer. Go wow, go. they are so fast to digest. Okay, they submitted already their answers in number three. Ayan, si Alea, si John Marcos, Isaiah, Pia, Samantha, Rachel, Ezekiel. Ayan, Princess, Alea, Jaden, Aliana. Grabe, ang bilis. <laughs> Carla, all their answers. Wow. Yes, Are they right? Are they right, Chitter B? Let's Why check. don't we check? Mm-hmm. Letter B, the man will drink cold water. Very good. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. We need to say they are understanding the picture they yes by the it. way kids ha huh? uh we will drink uh water not just uh if it's so hot no but in the choices no it it is being emphasized cold water to digest right <laughs> but it's not too cold it's not too hot just enough no yes. thirst mm-hmm. that's great to me what a beautiful reminder kasi marami nagkakasakit kapag masyadong mainit o masyadong malamig Anything that is too much is a poison to your body. Okay, number four, two, three, B. Yes, for number four, look at the picture of a girl, right? So, what will happen next to that? So, letter A, the girl will go to a birthday party. B, the girl will go to a Halloween party. C, the girl will go to the mall. Or letter D, the girl will go to school. Oh, what okay. have you seen in the picture? I love the picture to I can I can predict it based on what yes. she's bringing. Okay, so mm-hmm. consider what she's bringing in. And write number four and the letter of your correct answer. Go, 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 kids. We cannot wait to read your answers. Yes, we have here the first one. Isaiah John, Aleya, Alfaro, Ale- Samantha, Pia, Aliana, Kijisha, John Marcus. James, Emil, oh, Pia, Rafael, wow. grabe. Ang dami, tutorials, hindi ko na maisa-isa. But all yes, their answer is letter already. A. It's overwhelming. The correct answer, therefore, is letter A. The girl with the birthday party. When is your birthday, Tutor B? When is your birthday? Uh, that will be next year, Tutor Jess. <laughs> oh, April okay, 24 is my birthday. I'm an April wow, we will, girl. We look forward for that, Tutor V. No? Sana yes. may pasok sa araw na yun. Sana may itulay para we can greet oh. you personally. Okay, go, go, go. Yes, number five. Okay, look at the picture of 
Number five, there is a boy sleeping uh -huh. in the bed. Letter A, the boy will exercise. B, the boy will eat dinner. C, the boy will sleep early. D, the boy will play a toy car. So they have to be very mindful about the clock being uh -huh. shown in the cover of the book. Okay, type number five on the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 everyone. We cannot wait to read your answers in the comment section. Oh, they're so fast, Tutor Jess. A lot of answers are here already in our comment section. The first one is from Kijisha, Kel. You have also Princess, Isaiah John, Ezekiel John, Samantha, Aliana, Alea, Pia, John Marcus, Princess, Jersey, Alea, Agrabe. Hindi ko na may sa isa. No, ayan si Erwin Ortiz, Rose Ann, Raphael, Sherlix. You have also Johanna Lynn. All right, Alfaro. Wow. And other okay. answers, uh, yeah. Letter C daw. Tama ba sila, Chitur Jess? One, two, three, go! Yeah, hey! <laughs> that's hey. great! They're very consistent, Chitur Rubino, with their answers, meaning to say they understand the picture. And I want them to know and to type if they got five out of five. Okay, sino ba nakakuha ng five out of five? Meron ba, Chitur Rubino? I'm so excited! Mm -hmm. Kasi would like to acknowledge them. Okay. Yes, while waiting for their scores, Chitur Jess, bakit... Uh, how can they tell that the boy will sleep early? Yeah, as you have yes, said, you notice the start. clock. It's just 7 o'clock in the evening, right? Yes, that's great. That's true. I love the explanation. So they have to really interpret the picture for them to arrive at the right guess, arrive at the correct prediction. Because you, you don't simply guess, you, know, you make an intelligent Yes. Okay. Mm -mm. And we are so grateful because most of the most of them got five over five. Wow! Perfect. Wow. Okay. I love that. Very good. Yes. Yeah, Thank goodness. you very much, kids. We we can see you in the comments. We can see you and congratulations mm -hmm. for that. Okay. Moving well forward. done. We are not yet done. We yes. still have number six this time. It's more. Uh, Yes, okay. it's more numbers. It's still, the yes, the for number six, the same instruction po. Letter A, they will read books. B, they will have snacks with their friends. Letter C, they will go shopping. And letter D, they will ride a jeepney. Okay, take a look at the picture, kids. Mm -mm. Wow, they, they have some answers now. Okay, can see the answer. Uh, the uh, Sorry, the first one from Isaiah. Ayan. A wow. daw. Ayan okay. yung mga answer nila. Can you tell me to Ruby, where, where is the setting of the picture? Where is the setting? Oh, uh, I think that's a library. So yes, yes, what yes. Try will to check kids if... do in the library? Yes, let's try to check if they're right. Tutor Ruby, one, two, three. Yay! It's Yay. letter A. They will read books. Mm -hmm. no, that's why we miss face-to-face -face because we miss going to a library. Okay. Yes. Ruby. And the place that I'm staying at this hour, Tutor Jess, I'm in the library. I have a lot of books here. How I wish to have kids to visit in this place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Soon, Tutor Review. We yes. will be having to if it's very soon. Okay, let's pray for that. Number seven. Allow me to read the choices, Tutor Review. Look at the picture, kids. Uh, a child is holding a remote control. And these are the choices. A. Mm -hmm. People will watch a television show. B, Miko will listen to music. C, Miko will play computer games. D, Miko will clean the living room. Okay. Type number seven and the letter of the correct answer. Go, yeah. go, go Okay. I have seen the answer of Alea. That's, uh, according to her, it's A from Isaiah. A from Samantha. A from Alea. Oh, from Raphael. Oh. Yeah, from Erwin, from Alia. Actually, most of them answered letter A. Wala, wala bang sumagot ng letter C? Baka may na-confuse. Miko will mm -mm. play computer games. Okay, uh -oh. so let's try to check if they're right. Is it A or is it really C? Let's yeah, check. Yeah, the answer is letter A. Miko no, will watch a. a television show. Mm -mm. Yes, he's not playing because it's it doesn't have CPU. It's not a computer. It's a Correct. television show. Hmm. There's no Number keyboard one. also. Let's <laughs> choose to Ruby. You really know the parts. Okay. <laughs> Number eight, to Ruby. Go, go, go. Yes, look at the picture again. Focus there. So what will happen next? A, Norma will call her friend. 
B. Norma will drop the letter in the mailbox. C. Norma will buy in the store. Or D. Norma will return a book. Okay, okay. what's your answer? Wow, that's yes. so fast to turn. Yes, a lot of answers are flooding now in our comment section. Yeah, and from they're Fijisha. all shouting one the same letter, and that is letter B. Okay, oh. letter B, are they right? I'm gonna congratulations, oh. kids. It's letter B. And to the B, this is the final number for what I know. Number mm -hmm. nine. This will be the final number. Okay. So you can see there a picture of a cat chasing a rat. A, he will catch fish. B, he will hunt animals. C, he will collect seedlings. D, he will look for gold. Okay, type number nine and the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 kids. Go. Okay, put them in the comment section. All right. For number nine. All our learners from Basak Elementary School and Olango Island and from Tingu Elementary School under the advisor of Sir Glenn Sagarino. Hi, po. They're viewing right now. They're learning. Go, go, go. Yes. And we have also here uh, Lorraine M. Mendoza, grade four diligence, Francisco Benitez Elementary School, watching in Gaga Lang in Tondo, Manila. Grabe. Wow, All right. Yung mga answers nila for number nine. Okay. Uh, someone yes, says letter C. Letter B. Oh, okay. it's not letter C. Oh, you're right. It's but the, the correct answer, the correct is, answer letter. is letter B. He will yes. Hunt. Specifically, the cat is hunting a rat. Okay. Yeah. Do you have cats at home, Chitter B? Do you have cats at mm, home? No, we don't have. But our neighbors have. They just visit to our house. <laughs> okay. Maybe. That's mm -hmm. great. Okay. So they are really chasing rats no cat loves to chase a rat just like tom and jerry okay mm -hmm. it's letter b okay so for the remember for the things that they have to remember would you like to read to b go, go, yes go. our dearest grade two learners always remember this when you look at the cover of a book it can give you an impression whether the story will be interesting or not also Looking at illustration, picture, or title of the book can help you predict the possible story, details, or information to be provided. So the title page that contains the illustration gives you a clue or an idea on what the book is all about. So this illustration is carefully chosen and drawn to express the main idea and interesting part of the story. Right. Okay. Ooh. Thank you, Chitter Ruby. We learned from your explanation about how to make the right predictions. With that, Ooh. let's have another activity. And these are the instructions. Choose the letter of the statement that tells what the story will be all about based on the picture. Write the letter of the correct answer. Number one, I predict this story will be about A, a boy named Ulysses, B, a boy named Jewel. See a boy playing with a pet or letter D, how Ulysses and Jewel tame the animals. Okay, wow. go, go, go. Correct answer. Okay, focus on the picture, kids. Then analyze yes. the best statement that tells what the story will be about. Yes. Okay. That's a the only way they can. Here. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the only way they can get the correct answer. They have to understand. The picture okay that's true to ruby mm -hmm. i i prefer dogs over cats how about it <laughs> what do you prefer i also prefer dog but uh since uh, before i wasn't a uh, heavy i don't have the chance yet to have a cat only dogs yes. <laughs> but i believe cats are also adorable okay we're not discriminating so. here. yes, yes. Uh, i believe they have answers already for number one and the first one who got it right Yes, in the comment section to the review. Go, go, go. Okay. Uh, some answered letter C. Someone answered letter D. All right. But let's check what's the correct answer for this. But a lot of them have submitted their answers already. Okay. The answer is there. And the correct answer is letter 
D. D. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. B. So it's okay. how Ulysses and Jewel tame animals. They're yes. pet lovers. Ulysses is taming a dog while Jewel is taming a cat. I believe it's the explanation. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's move forward to three with number two. Yes, Please for see. number two, look at the picture. Okay, so there are two animals as I can see. I predict this story will be about A. Pigs trying to dance, B. Pigs playing guitar, C. Pigs eating banana, or D. Pigs talking on his back. What's your okay. answer, kids? Type number two on the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 kids. We cannot wait to see you in the comment section. Remember, we can see you there and we would like to acknowledge you all. Yes, Tutor Ruby, may sumasagot na ba? Yes, the and they are so fast, Tutor Jess. According to Ezekiel, it's A from Alea. Ayan, I thought they means destroying. No, I would like to correct you, Tutor Jess. What do you mean by tame? So that Alea can really understand what the word tame okay. means. Okay, when you say tame, mm. you, you train from being mm. wild. You, you tame, you train them to be... To be kind. Warm. To be kind, mm. to be more skilled. You, you train them just like a mother taming his child to be more mm. disciplined. Well, you train, you discipline them. Okay, perhaps. That's correct. Okay, so, going back. So, number two, it's letter A. Ayan, sabi ni Isaiah. Alaya, okay, let's try to try to three B. Are they yes. right? One, two, three, go. Okay, it's letter A. Congratulations. It's letter A. Pigs trying to dance. Uh, this should mm -hmm. be an exaggeration. We haven't seen pig dancing that way. But for the purpose of the story, you know, we love animating stories, of fantasies, fairy tales. We can, of course. Imagine, we can only imagine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving forward for number three. Yes, Tutor B? Yes, for number three, as you can see, here's another picture. I predict this story will be about A. Pete the cat loving his shoes. B. Pete the cat losing his shoes. C. Pete the cat ripping his shoes. Or D. Pete the cat looking for his shoes. Oh, what's okay. the correct answer? Yes, again, mm -hmm. reminding everyone it's number three. Type the letter of the correct answer in the comment section. Okay. All right. We have a lot of answers here. Um, and the Love first one it. to give his answer is? Okay, let's double check from the top. The first one who sent his answer is Isaiah John. Oh, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the consistent support. And of course, we would love to acknowledge all the rest who are giving their answers. Keep writing and commenting because we can see you, kids. We are happy to have you this afternoon. And the correct answer for number three is letter... Hey, hey. hey! Oh, Pete, Pete and Cat his loving his shoes. Look at the smile of yes. Pete the cat. <laughs> that would not be the smile if he is losing his shoes. No, that yes. is really a very happy mm -hmm. smile. Okay, mm -hmm. just like right. you, even if you're <laughs> sick, you are really smiling. That signature smile is mm -hmm. very contagious. It radiates to others. Number four, based on the picture. I predict this story will be all about A, a frog going fishing, B, a frog going to the zoo, C, a frog learning to swim for the very first time, D, a frog going to play. Again, it's number four and the letter of the correct answer in the comment section. Go, 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 kids! Yes, the first one to send her, yeah, his answer is... Congratulations, Ezekiel John Rarama. According wow, to hi, Ezekiel. Okay. The okay. Number four mm -hmm. is letter A. Very good. That's correct, Tutor V. Congratulations, Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. Moving on. We have okay, five. Yes, based from the picture, I predict this story will be about A, dinosaur chasing cats, B, dinosaur playing with crocodiles, C, dinosaur walking alone in the forest, or D, dinosaur playing with the cats. What's your answer? All right. Well, they are, they are so fast to digest. They have a lot yes. of answers already. And according to them, it's letter A. Wow. Mm. Are dinosaurs real? real to the Ruby? Are dinosaurs real? 
Aww. I think they are also animals. So there's a possibility that they really exist before. <laughs> yes, so based on the uh, fossils on the bones that we can see mm -hmm. the animals, but they are real. That's true mm -hmm. to the Ruby. I agree with what you said. Okay, let's try to check if they're right. Number five is letter. Yes, it's the letter A, dinosaur chasing cats. Okay. So it's true. It's letter A that the dinosaur is chasing cats. So some dinosaurs, they are carnivores. They eat animals. They feed on animals. Okay. Yeah. But we humans, we are? What kind of organisms are we to be? Are we carnivores, herbivores, or omnivores? We are omnivores because we eat plants and meat of animals perfect that's true to ruby i love the intelligence very witty to ruby just like our kids and now we have just a very simple activity one slide for what's new okay mm -hmm. please read to ruby for all okay. of that look at the picture kids and here's a short uh script now listen carefully once a rabbit saw a turtle walking slowly with a heavy shell on his back. The rabbit was very proud of himself, and he asked the turtle, Shall we have a race? The turtle agreed. They started the race. Question number one, who do you think won the race? Number two, what do you feel when you win a race? Oh, kids, please comment your answer in our comment section now. Ayan, they have answer now from Samantha for number one. Yes, Samantha. Yes, Samantha. Ayan. Ano uh, ba who, to review? What's the answer of Samantha for number one? Who do you think won the race? According to her, the turtle. Okay. Mm. This story is very familiar to them and this is really a very inspiring story about being steady yet slowly. You know, the steady, yes. yet uh, the slow yet steady will really succeed in life. You no, know? mm -hmm. it's okay to be slow, but what's important? You are steady, you are consistent. And only Samantha answered number one to three. How many a lot others? of them? Actually, a lot of them. Jersey, John, Mark, uh, okay, Ray, Michelle, check. She, and of course. Yeah, for number one first, who do you think won the race? Okay. Yes, it's, it's the a turtle. turtle. It's very oh. ironic. The rabbit is very fast compared to a turtle. Yet, it's the turtle who wins in the race because the turtle is slow yet steady. Okay. The and for number wins. two, what do you feel when you win a race? A lot of answers are here already, according to Raphael. Happy. And okay. uh, yeah, from Erwin also, he says, I will feel happy. And most yes. of them answer this uh, one. <laughs> okay. Number two, the answer is happy. Okay. Good job. What's the possible answer? I, I, in my case, it will be I will feel proud. I will be proud. Yes. I was and, able to make it. Mm -mm. And of course, I will always be grateful because I had the chance to join a race. <laughs> yeah. Because if you will, if you don't have the chance to join, of course, you don't have the chance to win as well. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's true to the review. Be grateful. Gratitude is the best attitude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move forward to the review for our guided assessment. Choose the possible outcome of the situation shown in the pictures. Write the answer on the comment section. Based on the picture, what do you think will happen or the outcome? A. She will get the job. B. She will win in the singing contest. C. She will dance. Or letter D. She will go to the market. Again, it's number one. And type the letter of the correct answer. Go, 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 everyone. Yes. And with that, Shooter Jess, I will give you the floor for the entire session now. Have a great day, kids. Thank you so uh, much. Enjoy. enjoy yes, your we're session so happy to Jess. have you. We look forward to having you again next week. Thank you so much, Shooter V. So God bless you. And we hope to see you next week. Thank you. Okay, kids. So again. What is your answer for number one? Just type number one and the letter of the correct answer. Okay. Okay, the correct answer for number one is letter. Letter B, that's great. Congratulations, Samantha, Isia, 
Jersey for getting a correct answer. That's letter B. She will win in the singing contest. Okay, ang galing. That's inspiring. Number two. How about number two? Based on the picture, A, he will get a high score in the test. B, he will fail in the test. C, he will not finish the test. D, he will get C. Okay. So look at the picture in the... The boy is studying his lessons. He's studying hard. Okay, what's the correct answer? Type number two and the letter of the correct answer. Go, go, go. I can see you in the comment section. Wow, I can see the answer of Samantha. Okay, how about Jersey? Isaiah. Yes, okay. Ezekiel, I can also see you. And the most of our learners answered letter a are they right shall we check the correct answer is letter yes congratulations it's letter a it's incredible letter a you will get a high score if you will really study hard no that's good keep studying hard because you will achieve the fruits of your hard work when the right time comes okay number three based on the picture what will happen? A, the plants will wither. B, the plants will die. C, the plants will grow dry. D, the plants will grow beautifully. Okay, type number three and the letter of your answer. Go, 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 everyone. What's your answer? Okay, I can see your answers in the comment section and most of you answer letter. Letter D, are you right? Let's check. Okay, congratulations. It's letter D. The plants will grow beautifully because you are watering the plants regularly that's that's the secret if you want your plants to grow beautifully you have to be very consistent in watering your plants cultivating the land yes that's correct number four number four based on the picture you can see a child playing in the rain barefoot a what will happen to kevin a kevin will get sick b kevin will go to school c kevin will be fine b Kevin will ask his friends to join him. What do you think will happen to Kevin? Type number four and the letter of your answer. Go, 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 kids. I would love to see your answers in the comment section. Okay, wow, well, it's flooding already. I can see your answers and most of you answered A. Are you right? One, two, three, go. Perfect. It's letter A. Kevin will get sick because he is playing in the rain and is barefoot so he might be prone to bacteria no or shall we say infection that's letter a and number five look at teo uh he's making something in the paper a teo will make a toy paper b teo will draw a picture c teo will go to sleep or letter d teo will eat breakfast okay again it's number five type number five on the letter of your answer one two three go Wow, ang bilis naman. Jersey, Izia, Samantha. Okay, Ezekiel. Okay, I love the answers and you most of you answered letter B. Are you right? One, two, three, go. It's correct. Yeah, hey, it's letter B. Letter B, they will draw a picture that is based on the image can be found in number five. So, who among you here got 5 out of 5? Patingin nga ng scores ninyo. Who among you here got 5 out of 5? Wow! Okay, ang gali, ang dami. Ang dami na ako ng 5 out of 5. Congratulations, everyone. Remember, predictions are possibilities that may happen in the story. They are like intelligent guess that is based on the clues in the text or in the illustration. You can predict the next event, the next ending, or the possible solution to the problem posed. Making predictions helps you pay attention to stories as you listen and read them. You can use the cover, the title, or illustration to guess what might happen in the story. And when you make predictions, it is important to explain or describe why you think your predictions might be true. Remember these two steps in making a prediction. First, Study the clues in the picture and use your own experience or background. If these two are combined, you can the story. Okay, remember the two steps again. Study the clues and use your background knowledge or experiences. Okay, and now we have our final activity for this afternoon. 
study the pictures and the descriptions, think for the possible outcome to complete the statements. I want you to write your answer in the comment section for number one. Based on the picture, the sun is hot, there was no rain for many days, the land is very dry, so the plants are going too. Yes, type number one at the and your answers in the comment section. I can see you. Go, go, go. Okay, I can see somebody said, die, wither. Yes. Let's try to check if you're right. Number one is letter. No, there is no letter, but the answer is wither or die. Letter. And then again, it's wither or die. So meaning to say, the plants will die because it's too hot and there's no water. In the absence of water, the plants cannot survive. Okay, number two. Yes, based on the picture, the water in the kettle gets hot. It becomes hotter and hotter. Bubbles start to form on the surface. Therefore, it's going to black. Write your answers, type number two, and your answer in the comment section. Okay, ano ba ang tamang sagot? Wow, I can see somebody answered boil, explode. Okay, let's try to see what you answer. The correct answer is yes, boil. So the water is already boiling because it gets hot, hotter and hotter and bubbles start to form on the surface. Okay, number three, based on the picture, the land is dry, there is no rain, there is not much water in the river. The river is going to blank. What will happen to the river based on the picture? There is no rain and the land is dry. Type number three and your answer in the comment section. Amazing. The correct answer is dry up. Yes, the river will dry up. Let's move forward to number four. The faucet was left on. The pail is already filled with water. The water fills the bathroom. The water goes to the kitchen. And therefore, the water will... Type number four and your answer in the comment section. Go, 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 kids. Okay, I can see you there. The correct answer is the water will overflow to the different parts of the house. Okay, many of you got it right. Overflow. And finally, for number five, based on the picture in the cover, the sky is dark. The clouds are black and big. Lightning flashes and the thunder roars. It's going to black. Write number five and your answer in the comment section. Go, 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 everyone. It's the final item for today. Okay, ang galing. Ang dami nang sumasagot. Let's try to check if you are right. The correct answer is rain. It will surely rain because the clouds are black and big and the lightning flashes, the thunder roars. Okay. Who among you here got 5 out of 5? Pakita ng mga scores ninyo. I would love to acknowledge them. Yes. Wow. Ang galing. Many of you got 5 out of 5. I mean to say, you are learning. Are, are you learning? Type yes. Yes, yes, if yes. Wow. They are learning. It's so overwhelming and fulfilling that after our lesson, you are all learning. So with that, for your assignment, I want you to perform this activity. Write the title of the book and write what are your thoughts. Describe the picture. I think the story may be about blood. Okay? So type your answer in the comment section. We would love to feature you next week. Okay? That will be your assignment. Write the title of the book and what is the story all about. So again, post your answer in the comment section and we will feature them next week. Congratulations, everyone. Did we achieve our objectives for cognitive? Give predictions. Yes, 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 we did that. Achieved. Show appreciation to the importance of writing. Did we do that? Yes, achieve and perform the different writing activities. Yes, it's achieved. So congratulations. Yeah, hey, we are all learning and I'm so happy. It's a very fruitful afternoon for all of us. So kids, this has been your tutor for English 2. I'm Tutor Jest with Tutor Ruby and Tutor Rina. And I would like to end our session for this afternoon with the song for our English 2 jingle. English 2, English 2 for me and you. English 2, English 2, come on, let's go. English 2, English 2. Okay, very good. I love all of you. I can see you singing there. And I would love to see more videos of you watching and singing our English 2 jingle. So kids... Do that and 
uh, capture that in the video, type that in the comment section, and we will feature you next week. Once again, thank you very much for joining. I'm so happy for having you this afternoon, and I would like to end our session by saying one story, one teacher, and one learner can change the world. Once again, thank you very much, and may God bless us all. So if you have some more comments or feedback, you can type them in the Itulai feedback form or the QR code that you can see on your screen right now. And of course, what's up next for our next tutor for English 3, Tutor May, and Tutor Ira. Once again, thank you very much, and I'm so happy to have you today. I look forward to seeing you again for the next Tuesday because Tuesday is English Day. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you very much. English to English to for me and you. English to English to let's learn and grow. Thank you very much, everyone. Goodbye. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!